This is David Garlow interviewing Jill Janus from Huntress. synopsis on the band's history? Yeah, we're from California, uh, a little place called Highland Park uh, in, in uh, Los Angeles. I'm originally from New York, but uh, I moved out to L.A. to find Shredders uh, because New York was just a little too punk rock, and I've been, uh, you know, really uh, trying to, uh, you know, find other band members that shared this vision with me, and, uh, and luckily I did, and Huntress uh, came out with a video called Eight of Swords, um, in 2011, uh, we, it was self-funded. When that video was released, we got, gained a lot of attention from labels and uh, ultimately signed with Napalm Records. Uh, we put out our first album, Spell Eater, last year. And uh, now we, one year later, are releasing our second album, Starbound Beast. And uh, I would say that we're melodic, heavy metal. Uh, you know, definitely stay true to the roots of it. Yeah, no doubt. Now, you have a really powerful voice, you have a lot of range, but I love the, the aggression that you do, too. Um, can you tell me about your background? I mean, you know, what, what's your training and all that? Well, growing up in upstate New York, I did a lot of community theater. Uh, my mother found, you know, that I had a... My mother discovered I had a large voice uh, at the time of 10, uh, at the age of 10, I should say. So I'm a little flustered. I just feel like I've been running around all day getting ready for tour. I got you. So, yeah, yeah. Um, now, you're, you're, you're a publication, right? This isn't for radio? No, this is for uh, examiner.com, so I, I'll, okay. I, I edit out anything that shouldn't be out there. <laughs> okay, cool. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, so essentially, I, I started with a classical background, which progressed into hard rock and heavy metal. Uh, that classical training, I believe, is the, uh, the foundation for my screams and why I can, uh, you know, go night after night on tour and, and, and not uh, lose my voice. Right. But um, I, I, I first fell in love with thrash music when I was 13. Suicidal Tendencies was my first love, and um, you know, my mom really didn't guys. want me to uh, participate in, in rock music because she thought it would ruin my voice. And looking back now, I'm really glad that she kind of forced me into that because, uh, the, you know, having having such a large range and, and, and being able to sustain it night after night is really uh, the key to longevity, which is what we're aiming for. Yeah, that's good. Well, I think you guys got a good thing going on. Um, now, I think what struck me with you guys was uh, how aggressive and fast the songs can be, and then uh, immediately hit a more melodic change up and some cool bridges. You guys sort of remind me of early Iron Maiden in a way. Um, what would yeah. you consider to be some of the band's influences? Uh, well, first of all, thank you for uh, for you know noticing that um, we you know that we are aggressive. Being female fronted, it's you know there's a lot of misconceptions and, and preconceptions that this we're going to be like easy listening metal. I'll be coming out in a corset and and singing about rent fairs, you know. So uh, you know we love. Uh, we love the, the, the new album bands, of course, you know, Judas Priest, Iron Maiden, and, um, you know, King Diamond is a huge influence on us, Danzig, uh, and then, you know, as, as far as, like, thrash music and, and Slayer and, you know, the, the, the greats. However, we, we really try to, um, you know, stay current. We're, we're not a throwback band. We... We worship at the at the, at the altar of of, uh, of the classic metal bands, but um, we we are forward moving, and and especially with this next record, Starbound Beast, it was produced by Zeus, and uh, he really uh, brought a, a really very modern, uh, interesting dynamic to to the album, and I think that it's a very crushing, current sounding album. Oh no doubt, I, I've talked to a lot of bands that have worked with Zeus, so uh, it's it's definitely current. Uh, kill. People that like Kill Switch Engage are gonna like you guys too, you know. So I get it. Oh, that's just great to hear. Thanks.
album, Starbound Beast. Uh, it's, I've heard the album already. It's insanely good. Uh, can you talk about the new stuff coming up? We are just about to embark on a year of relentless touring leading up at the Rockstar Energy Drink Mayhem Festival. And uh, that's quite the honor. During the festival, I will also be the uh, MC and host of the first ever Jägermeister Shredmeister guitar competition, which is pretty neat. If uh, anyone wants to participate, they just go to one of the various Jäger tents on the Mayhem Fest, uh, and they audition about 10 seconds, and then, then that will be, uh, you know, uh, their, their, the first step into being part of the competition, and they'll win a, a guitar and, and later on possibly win a complete setup guitar amp head. Um, I'm, no, I'm no gear nerd, but I do know uh, that it is going to be a real blast. We're playing on the Jägermeister stage. Huntress is sponsored by Jägermeister proudly, and uh, we'll, we'll be on the Jäger stage, and then uh, once we're done with our set, I'll be heading over to uh, to host the Shredmeister competition every day. That's very cool. All right, now here's a, here's a woman in music question for you. I do this with, I talk to a lot of female musicians and vocalists. Uh, all metal, all metal heads, really. So you know, there's there's a lot of good metal female vocalists out there. Uh, what advice would you give to an aspiring female musician? That you know, what would you say to them? Uh, the best advice I can give to any female musician, especially trying to tackle uh, uh, a career in, in heavy metal, would be to give up the female bullshit instantly. Right. Um, what I learned fast and what I had to learn uh, on the road was I'm in a tour van with four guys and any female drama or being too emotional is, uh, is just going to defeat your purpose. So uh, really abandoning those types of emotions and, and um, almost, I would say, a reference to Lady Macbeth, unsex yourself. Gotcha. Good advice. Yeah. Um, now, you guys are also outside the Rockstar Drink. Uh, Mayhem Fest, which I think is the festival of this the year in the states, anyway. Um, yeah, I fully agree. I endorse that. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are doing a bunch of shows with uh, Children of Bodom, Battlecross, and some others along the way as well. Uh, are you going to be adding more shows too as you go, or what? Well, you know, the off dates are important for a young metal band like us to bring in extra money because the the expenses are completely uh, out of control. I mean, we're we're part of a, a we're very honored to be part of such a amazing reputable production, uh, but it is monstrous and and so are the costs. So any of those off dates, we can play with Children of Bodom, Battle Cross, and Behemoth, Amon and Marth. Even we're doing uh, some off dates with them, and we're really pumped about that. Um, those help. Uh, support us on the road uh, and just a side note here today we just launched uh, an Indiegogo campaign to raise funds for Mayhem Festival tour support and we're calling it our virtual yard sale okay. uh, we're offering some really cool items to fans um, that you know we probably shouldn't be selling this early in our career it's, we're, we, may, we may be idiots to do this but we're selling some really cool stuff and uh, if anyone's interested in going to check it out and uh you know, participating in uh, bringing true heavy metal back. Uh, you know, not saying it's ever been gone. I just, I feel like now is our time, and this is when true heavy metal will thrive again. It, it, it's, I'm just feeling the, the profound shift. Uh, there's definitely a shift. I'm, we're on Mayhem Festival around a bunch of new metal bands, and I think that's a little bit of hope for all those true heavy metal heads out there. Absolutely. I, I think there's a big shift, and uh, metal is coming back uh, stronger than ever, finally. So yeah, and that that Jägermeister stage, I mean that that could be a stage alone, a concert by itself, just with the bands that are on that one, anyway. So yeah, you know we're really pumped. Machine Head and Job for a Cowboy, Butcher Babies, Battle Cross. You know we're we're really glad we're aligned with all those bands, and um, you know even Butcher Babies, you know being female fronted as well. Honestly, those chicks are tough as fuck. Absolutely, they went on tour with Marilyn Manson. If anyone wants to talk shit about them. You try going on tour with Marilyn Manson and see how you handle it. <laughs> I, That's how they really won respect for me. It was like, all right, girls, I, I, I get it. I feel for you. <laughs> I, uh, I, I talked to uh, Greg Allman's daughter, uh, Brooklyn. She's she's in a band going out there with uh, Marilyn Manson and uh, Ellis Cooper. So, But she's nothing oh, like yeah. the old man, though. I, mean, I, I, was, I, I got the opportunity to meet Alice Cooper and Marilyn Manson both, and they're, they're both darling. I met them at the... Revolver Golden Gods Awards uh, when I was uh, announcing Five Finger Death Punch actually this year, and uh, that that was a real that was a real blast. Five Finger Death Punch and our manager 
it's the same person. So we're Jackie Kaiser of 10th Street Management, and those boys are real cool too. I'm looking forward to hanging out with them this summer as well. All right. Well, what what Hi, man. what can people expect when uh, they see Hunters hit the stage? They can expect to have their faces melted off. No joke. This is what happens when you come to a Hunter show. What you see is what you get. On the album, we can duplicate everything live. That's really vital to the Hunter's image is that we're able to perform those songs as they are on the album. Um, we don't use effects. There's no triggers on our drums. It's just straight up heavy fucking metal. Awesome. Go the good old old school way to go. And uh, yeah. once again, thanks so much for doing this today. It was a great interview. And uh, what would you like to say to the fans out there? Stay metal. All right. That's it. That's it. Just stay metal. All right.